My name is Miguel Curtido. I am the technical responsible officer for the works that we are implemented today by Fusion for Energy. Today, it is a very important day for the ITER project because we are putting the last and final section of the bottom slab of the Tokamak building. My name is Ben Slay. I'm the deputy project manager for the site buildings and power supplies of Fusion for Energy. We have signed a contract uh, with the consortium led by GTM four years ago, and today we complete that contract. A significant milestone is reached by finishing these works. For this slab, we have divided it in 15 sections. We start to put the first one in last December in 2013. What we are doing today it is the first pool of what is called the upper basement. That is in fact a double foundation, it's a complex one. It is being built with two basements. One that is underneath, that is in contact with the soil, and another one that is uh, on top of it. And in between we have what we call the anti-seismic bearings. The function of those seismic bearings is to isolate the upper basement and the building of the possible earthquakes that we can have. I am Thierry Lobo, I am the project manager of the TB00 contract. We put the concrete in place in, uh, in four layers. The thickness of the slab is 1 meter and 50 centimeters. So one first layer of 50 centimeters, one second layer of 50 centimeters, one second layer of 30 centimeters only, and one finishing layer of 20 centimeters. Once we have uh, finished putting in place the, the fourth layer, we finish the surface by entrowelling. And then there is a, a curing process. We keep the surface of the concrete very wet, so the water remains in the concrete and it minimizes the cracking risk. My name is Laurent Schmider. I am the site building and power supply manager. Today we are pouring the third plot of the bottom slab of the tokamak. This plot represents 600 square meters for around 900 cubic meters of concrete. This is the third plot out of 15 and we intend to pour between now and September 15,000 cubic meters of concrete. On top of the slab, you can see some vertical bars called starter bars. Those bars will be used by VFR to start the erection and the build up of the walls of the tokamak complex. In parallel, the reinforcement work on the center part of the tokamak complex is ongoing. The worker will put in place 6,000 tons of steel. We are dealing with bars of 12 meter length, 40 mm diameter, so it's very heavy bars. And we will be ready to pour the first plot on the, the center part in summer this year. My name is Roman Pex. I work for Engage, the architect engineer of the project, and I'm in charge of the supervision of the works. Today we are pouring the last plot of the B2 slab, the plot 13, which is the central one. So this plot, as every other plot on the B2 slab, is made from 1.5 meters of concrete, reinforced concrete, and is being put in three layers of 50 centimeters each, which are reinforced. And currently we are doing the filling layers, which are the first and the second, and we are going up in rate like 130 cubic meters per hour. This is not usual to have these fine requirements about position of everything, the number, the thickness of layers, the number of rebars. This is quite spectacular and is not seen in uh, a lot of work sites in the world. And in fact, the central plot was one of the most reinforced, the most precise plots to lay out. And uh, the concreting just marked the end of all this preparatory phase. It was around 14,000 cubic meters of concrete, around 3,500 tons of steel, and about 2,500 of embedded plates that will help 
to support the elements, devices, instruments for the tokamak to work. Today, it is the last part of the foundation, but it is also the first one of the rest of the building. After the completion of these works by the consortium led by GTM, they will start their demobilization, they will remove their cranes and the formwork. And immediately after that, the consortium led by Vinci, consortium called VFR, will take over the site and they will start, continue the construction of the Tokomak building and the Tokomak complex. For the construction of this B2 slab on the site, about 150 people were involved. But it's not only the people that work on site that make it possible to realize the works that we have achieved today. It is the hundreds of people in all the organizations like the ITER organization, Future for Energy, Energia for management support, APAF for health and safety and legal inspection, and Engage for uh, the work supervision and the design, but also the different contractors involved, like Nuvia Travo Special for the anti-seismic bearings, and a consortium led by GTM 